and welcome to my YouTube channel. All right, so here is the perennial heavyweight contender, former K1 World Grand Prix champion Alistair Overeem in DC. It's sort of hard to tell an effective history of heavyweights in MMA without coming across the name The Ring. Yes, because he's been a champion in every organization he's ever fought. As you said, K1, Dream Champion, Strike Force Champion, has not held the UFC title, but has competed for it before in his career and will be looking to earn another chance at the championship. High level striker. But the one thing that is overlooked when you think of Alistair Overeem is that great guillotine choke that he has that he's finished a number of opponents with. You're fighting this guy, DC. You know as well as anyone, it makes for a suffocating night at the office. Here he is, Khabib Nurmagomedov, putting his status as one of the best fighters on the planet on the line yet again tonight. He does it every time he steps foot in the octagon. When they say it's suffocating, they talk about the strength of Khabib. Even our teammates say it does not feel like you're going with a lightweight. You right. feel like you're fighting a light heavyweight. And what do you expect from a guy that spent his childhood wrestling with bears? <laughs> Is so strong, he's so physical in the hard work and the intensity of which he trains with only shows when he steps foot in the octagon. One of the most skilled guys the UFC has ever seen. We always talk about the wrestling and the grappling and the sambo, right. but don't sleep on Habib Nurmagomedov striking. And we saw shades of that in the McGregor fight. Javier Mendez says at times he likes to go southpaw in training. He can't hold you down. Ah, he can't hold me right. down, but Just it's okay. It sure. It's okay. You can't win them all, Habib. Uh -huh. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The Russian is 31. The Brit is 40. He weighed in at 260 pounds. He will have a 10-inch reach advantage. Here is Ladies first and ball. gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 47 wins, 19 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, Alistair the Reed And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for the white fans around the world. And going to be very interesting to see well, he's going to try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. And they separate. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Overeem's hook to the body was blocked. Right idea, wrong execution. Oh. Big knee to the body. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Overeem's attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now the guy's got on bar, he's attacking it on it. Gotta be careful, on bar. Arm has been isolated, but he picks him up and slams him down. He lifted him through the air, slammed him on his back, and moved right on the side control to get out of danger. Beautiful job to not just turn defense into offense, but also to end up in a dominant position. Overeem's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are few. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's show you some of the highlights from the previous round. DC, elbow striking 101. Elbow striking 101. Every time his opponent got close, he knew that was going to be the game plan. His opponent was going to pressure, so he was trying to smother him. But instead of just grabbing and holding, he used those elbows to really damage his opponent and put himself ahead in this fight. Second round underway. Oh, nice strike landed there by Nurmagomedov. All right, he closes the distance. Wow. Gets the single power tie. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 50 total strikes have now found the target, and with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control, he's got a ton of options. Close guard. Lands a strike now from the bottom, nice work there by Overeem. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, side control now. Or now he's looking for a Kimura attack. He's going to try to use that to sweep. submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon.
So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 26 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by tap out due to an on bar. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. There he is, all smiles and rightfully so.